What's up, YouTube? This is Dog back with another review. This time it's on the Transformers Legends series, Super Jinrai by Takara Tomy. Here he is in the packaging. You can see his nice G1 gloriness and the nice, awesome box art. Love that art. And if you look, you got two different colors for the for the um the guns, so that looks cool. We have Jinrai, the headmaster, right there. He's the human and uh, Transformer. Transformer. And we got on the back here. Shows you half of Optimus there, or Jinrai. Got a little bit of his car mode down here. The back, the side. This is the back. You got car mo truck mode. Battle command base. Got a little gimmick here. Shows you where the headmaster goes. Got the comic. Then a picture of the figure in the stills that they take. And you got a big shot of the art. So that's really cool. Looking at the top, we have the headmaster jumping off in actual toy form. I like that a lot better than the, the lame art that Hasbro was doing with the Titans Return series. Although they're good with their art, especially their cartoon art. You got Jinrai over there. And on the bottom, Transformers Legends. And all that gobbledygook. So without further ado, let's get right into it. Comes with a nice booklet here. Really cool booklet. We'll check more of that out in a minute. Uh, but there we go. And you also wanted to show you that you got to cut these. If they have the plastic, the plastic uh, parts coming down here and here. And you cut those, and you have to pop those out. And then that's how you pull this out. It's on a double clamshell. What I meant is these tabs. Oh, that one got ripped. Whoops. These tabs kind of stick in and lap over around it. You see what I'm saying? And then you have to cut the, the tape, pull the tab out. It's kind of a pain. A little orthodox, unorthodox, but uh, just taking... There's the... Look at this comic. It's really big. And then... I don't want to spoil it and everything, but it's on the back. And then... This is why I really had to move. Because look at this instruction sheet. It's just huge. It is gigantic. And there's a pick of Optimus. And here he is in all his glory. He is awesome. And there's a little bit of a gap here because I have Jinrai actually, the human Jinrai in there. And it does create a little bit gap if you're not 100% perfect, like reaching ahead and stuff. But this is him. He's awesome. Um, he's got some issues. As you can see, here's one up here. It doesn't like to stay like flat. Especially, you can't just peg these in real easily. For one, they're tight, so it's going to cave this all in. And there's all these little, you mean, just look. See how, like, there, that's the gazoon sample. But, really cool, um, we'll just show you this right now. Uh, Jinrai can sit, in, oh, there you go. He can sit in there, he sits in Optimus's head. You just put him like this. And lock. There's a, probably a better way to do it, but I've only had them for about an hour now out of the box. So, but as you can see, it comes together a lot better without that. So we're gonna put Jinrai aside for right now. And he can, you know, he can always stand up here. Oh, shit, he can always stand up here and stuff uh, in these little Titan Master holes. So there, that works too. As you can see, we have the guns on the side. We got the nice Generation 1 style uh, cab. Got nice paint, silver paint here, and on the grill, and the stripes, and the smokestacks are all silver painted. All the, all the rims are silver painted. Got a nice blue stripe here for the Autobot trailer. It's got two dual painted uh, guns, so that's cool. Looking at the back. Very much nicer back. It doesn't give that big foot out the back. That looks cool. We got some blue paint here just to kind of put in some detail. So definitely a cool figure nonetheless. This guy's painted exceptionally well. Let's see if we can get a close up on him. You can even see the bridge of his nose is painted like it's got the V. And uh, he's got nice... They just don't do this for Hasbro. Look at this painted head. I mean, that's beautiful. There's no slop whatsoever. When you make it into... And, and even the black, glossy uh, legs 
they're painted beautifully. So yeah, looking great. You just fold this, and this is the Optimus Prime head that you can make as a great Optimus head. Great. Anyway, so let's get moving. I've already spent five minutes sticking around. So, to transform this guy, you're going to want to remove the guns. You don't really have to, probably. Oh, you have to remove these, but I don't think you have to remove these. But we're just going to anyway, because that's what I'm going to do. Just in case, I don't feel like dealing with it. All right. And what I do is I slide this up in here, just like in the regular version. So it locks it, so it doesn't flop around. So we slide that up there and lock it. Next, you want to uh, we want to take out these are punches in here. So go up under here and pop that out of there, back like that. And this side, same thing, back. This one's a little bit more tough. I remember it took me a while to get this one out. This one's bullshit. As you can see, it's destroying the whole figure. <laughs> I might have to saw down a nub. As you can see, we destroyed the whole figure. <laughs> but yeah, anyway, so you get next you're gonna want to pop these open anyway. Then you're gonna want to separate it from up here and flip these up in the process. So we're gonna flip these to the side. We're just gonna leave these up for now to get them out of the way. But there's a couple tabs you can tab that in there like that, but we're not gonna do that right now. I'm going to get a beep in a minute, and I'm going to have to pause it just to kind of pull the dinner out of the oven. But as you can see, we're going to want to lift this up out of the way like that. Then we're going to work on the legs. So let's do that. So what you want to do to start is you want to go... Um, okay, so you want to go from behind like that. We're going to start. All right, there's. right, I'll be right back. Sorry if you heard that. Oh. I'm going to turn this up. Alright, so what you want to do is you want to take the wheels, or it's not the back here, and you want to take this out. So you're going to flip this down, like so. And these kind of will come down on a double hinge, so like that. And you're going to want to do it with this side, double hinge. You're going to want to flip this just itself down like that, and then flip it to the front. Same thing on this side, flip it down, flip it to the front. Pull these down on their heel. These are heels. And then you want to shift it all the way to the front. So, kind of like that. Alright. Next, you want to turn it right back around. Get things in the way here. Um, and we want to... We're going to just pull the... We're going to pull do the Power Master Prime uh, thing that... Ultra Magnus do and Power Master does. So flip it down like that. Next, you're going to want to flip these up. And this is supposed to connect in there. You can see the little tab. And it doesn't really. It might after a little while of use. But you connect it in there. And then after you connect that in there, you flip this around the back. And then you tab this. It's kind of like like it does on this. Where I was having trouble getting it out in the beginning. You tab that in there like that. Then you're going to want to flip this just up. There's a, see, it kind of goes up on that hinge. And then this flips up forward. Make sure the heel's down. Do that on the other side, too. So flip this up. Flip this in. Tab that in right there. Flip this all the way around. And then tab these in like that. Pull this up on that double hinge. Flip this forward and pull the heel down. And there you got Optimus Prime's legs. It feels like there's no way. There. Alright, next we're going to want to move up. So, next we want to go from here and we're going to snap these in. They snap in. Now you can, you can use them for a. Um, so you want, to, you want to slide it like how I did it anyway in the beginning, but now you're going to want to lift and spin this around just like Ultra Magnus. And we're going to push that down like so. We're going to open up this, and we're going to flip out Optimus's head. Lift that up, flip out Optimus's head. Like that, and leave it all the way back. 
Then you want to flip this one in first, like, but you're going to flip that underneath. Flip that in first, and then close that like that. Next, you want to flip these out. You want to rock this whole thing like that. And you want to close this, and it'll attach into some tabs there, you can see. In there. And then, more or less, you're starting to have Optimus and... Or actually, it's Jinrai, so... We're starting to have Jinrai. Next, you want to take these and revert these to the side. And then you're going to want to slide these up. Or pull it down. As well. Slide it up, pull it down. Same thing. Slide it up, pull it down. And then these go into the back. You flip that underneath, and then this up back. This turns 90 degrees. Same thing with this side. Turn that to the back. Flip this down. Flip this back. Slide this up. Spin 90 degrees. Cool. So now we're at a crossroads here. I'm just kidding. And he, he's pretty cool, actually. Yeah. Just give me a second. Like I said, he's, he's, he's kind of... Oh, I didn't say it yet. He's, he's kind of cheap plastic, to be honest. He should be stronger plastic. <laughs> He's not that pricey though, so. Alright, so now we got that. Alright. Next you want to take Jinrai. Flip him in half. Peg on his headmaster. And it just goes in there like every other headmaster does. Like that. I'm going to sit him down so we can have some motion here. Then you, of course, flip this over just like the Power Master one. Like that. We want to arm him up. So we want to arm him up like the sides. These go up like that. And like that. And there you go. And there he is. And he is pretty spectacular. He's got this little lift out to the side. So... As you can see, it's a better than Ultra Magnus. Ultra Magnuses would be more lower. He's got an elbow joint, a bicep swivel, a wrist joint. He doesn't have that hollow part right here, or on the back. Oops, or on the back. Um, you can also, whoops. You can also pull this out, this joint right here. Hold on. And kind of use it as a butterfly. Kind of. He will spin back and forth. You can kind of get some up and down too. See? Oh, well, you can get a little up and a little down. Even with the ball. Because you use the ball jointed head. See? The eyes are going up with it. But then there's a point where it goes up above. He will kick forward about 90. And he'll bend his knee about 90. He has a thigh swivel. And he's got ankle tilts. And it's, it'll rock forward and back. Oops. Forward and back. Plus, it'll go side to side. And if you pull this forward, you can even get more forward. And you just have to kind of work with it. And then you can get it to go back. And he'll go out to the side as well. So he's got good posability. Decent posability for, you know, a leader class toy. And he also arms up with two guns. So we're going to do a little comparison with Ultra Magnus now. And we're going to try to get them in frame. This is the guns. As you can see, they're black gunmetal and nice metallic blue. And they will fit a Titan Master in there when you peg them together. Plus, they will separate and you can hold them. And he looks really good with them. The key is to get the, the heels to work. That's the part that you want with him. All right. Alright, so next, let's do it with Ultra Magnus. There he is with Ultra Magnus. And I like the fact he's a little taller. That's kind of cool. In my opinion, it's cool. But uh, for Super Prime, not for regular Prime. But um, we'll show you the uh, base mode really quick. It's the same transformation, but hold on. Here he's in base mode. He's got the two guns here. I put the two guns up top. He's got Hot Rod there and Jinrai right there. 
Let me know what you think of the review. Like, comment, subscribe. And, you know, stay awesome, stay sub. Stay tuned for the next review. And peace, I'm out of here. That's a wrap. I'm out.